the Badlands. We are at Sheep Rock Table, standing atop the lookout. It's going to be an awesome time, some great views. I'm Allison. That's baby Chloe. And I'm Andrew. Hi, I'm Kiara. Hi, I'm Yelena. We are a family of five traveling and adventuring on our national adventure. Come join us as we find beauty through simplicity. The Badlands is such an interesting place. All around it makes you feel as though you're in sort of like a science fiction novel. That or a giant sandbox. We're driving on an area where people say there's old bombs. It's referred to as the Badlands bombing area and it's about 2,000 We're in a really cool area of the Badlands. An area that nobody goes to. Except the horses and wildlife. On, Unexploded bombs and bullets still lie in the ground here. Side of the river there. Mm -hmm. Came in the next day. And I was like, "What's this? Look, what I found live bomb." Wow. I didn't know that. Control bombs. They were right. Pressure. Like they yeah. hit and exploded. It would blow up. told us that there's an area where there's bombs that still exist, that this area specifically was used, and that all throughout the Badlands there's still scattered bombs that are active. So they actually have the register. So because pets wander and they run around, especially little dogs, you can't even take your pets in through here. I mean, nonetheless, there are some snakes, some snake warnings, but because of, you know, the warning with the the bombs and things they do not even want you to take your dogs so i don't even think i'll take my children because of the warning with the dogs and the bombs and all that other fun stuff i think we're not going to explore this area i think there's so many other beautiful places within the badlands that we're just going to go check those out especially with three little kids So yesterday we were at the Red Table Overlook, and today we are at... Where? We're in the north side of the park, actually. We're just at the, the Window Trail right now, and this is amazing. It's a breathtaking look. It's a different view. Hey, miss. She's taking in the view, too. I think she wants to get out. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is a little bit steep. <laughs> this is the equivalent of the other side on the north side for the Grand Canyon. Climbing up the rocks. Kiara wants to climb for a very long time. We just finished walking through some of the areas of the rocks and trying to my compass. Kiara's using her compass out here. North. North. North expert hiker up there, Kiara, leading the way with her compass, telling us where to go. Got Kiara, Carolina right here with me. We're following along the way. Look at this rock. This is cool. Do you want to stand up top and get your photo? Yeah. Look at this. This is a different environment. We're back in the boardwalk here so that we can... Uh, walk through and around, stay off the land a little bit, right? Got Kiara back there, checking out the compass to make sure we're on track. We're east again? I think so, let's head east. Here we go, Carolina. <laughs> She's giving us the play-by-play -play again. How are you doing? We good? I'm gonna hike up this trail up here just to get a viewpoint of the southeast part of the Badlands before we head up the rest of the trail 
So, um, <laughs> she's still giving us the directions. We gotta watch out for rattlesnakes, though. We've seen lots I of wildlife got here. You got directions? Uh huh. Cool. Where to? We don't got directions. Like to get me a nice ice cold coffee? We don't got directions. A nice cold coffee we for. Don't get I don't have directions. No, I'm just keeping my feet on the path so that I. Southeast! Let's go this way. Come on, sweetie. Cool. I think we're heading up to the top of the viewpoint now. Come on, geeks. You got it. We're ready this high. What do you, it's a pretty view, isn't it, Carolina? Hey, geeks. It's a pretty view out there over the Badlands. Southeast part. What direction are we now? Southeast? Southeast, yeah. Southeast. Good call. We're up top. We are up top. We're going to make our way right over there, and then we're, that's the way that we loop around the other side. Let's go. Then we're going to get all the way up there. No, I don't think, you think we're going to do that? I don't think we're going to do that. before sunset and it doesn't even look like it. The shadows are like non-existent. <laughs> Maybe it's something you come to see in the morning during sunrise. I'm not sure but um, we had hoped to see the shadows <laughs> at sunset and it's just not happening. If you find yourself in the Badlands you've got to stop off at Waldrug so that was our next destination. This place is notorious for its posters and banners and really cool looking billboards. That's gotta be one of my favorites. I don't know. For miles and miles before you get to Waldrug, you will see signs for Waldrug. They know how to advertise. What once started as a pharmacy drugstore now is a huge shop. Basically, a destination that you just can't miss when you're in South Dakota. In the heat of the summer, Waldrug made its name by giving iced cold water to people. That's right, iced cold water was free any time of the day. And being in the area of the United States that it is, you definitely need your water. It is hot out here. Overall, though, it's just a very unique, funky place. It's definitely something to check out. There's really not any words to describe it. You just gotta see it for yourself. What a cool experience the Waldron Kit is here in South Dakota. If you ever get a chance, definitely go and see it. I've seen in my life. 
but I made Andrew stop the car so that I could take a better look and actually see something itself. So hold on. Okay. Andrew wins. It's a cow. That is the biggest cow I've seen in my life. But that is a cow. He's even tagged. But that is a huge cow. I mean, he's huge. And he's by himself. We'll see.